I wonder, have you, uh, you must be aware that there seems to be some ground swelling around people using Kali as their full-time Linux desktop. They're using it as their main distro, not just for penetration testing, but uh, everyday stuff. W what do you think about that phenomenon, and why do you think that's happening? Um, I think that's happening because Kali Linux has just turned to be a very stable and reliable operating system, um, and very, very flexible. Um, often more flexible than other distributions around there. So I, I can definitely see that happening. I mean, we, we, we support the latest kernel in each release, so you usually find that Kali has better hardware support um, than more traditional operating systems, say. Um, so I, I can definitely see that happening. Um, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't it, surprise it me. It seems to, to me, though, that a core component of uh, Kali Linux being so... Um, so widely adopted, not only for penetration testing, but also for desktop, is uh, you are doing, an, your team and you are doing an exceptionally good job of keeping the distribution current and relevant. So one of the things that's happened in, in previous penetration testing distributions is they make a really big splash with a lot of really great tools, but these tools deprecate and new ones are created very rapidly. Uh, it's a, right. it's a, and but yet Kali has managed to uh, stay up on it, and I, I can't imagine that even with the team of of uh, that you have, how how does everybody manage to figure out what's the best stuff to keep putting into future Cali releases? Because that I think too plays a key role in its popularity. Right, There's, I, I think I think you nailed it on the head right there. I, 